In this video we will show how to splice a 900 micron pigtail to a 250 micron fibre. We will be using an Optronics core alignment fusion splicer, precision cleave tool, then we will need some cleaning fluid and lint free wipes which we will take from our Optronics cleaning kit. Cleaning the fibre is a very important part of the splicing process. We need our buffer strippers for removing the 900 and 250 micron buffers, a sin bin for the fibre scraps, some splice protectors to protect the exposed fibre, and a pigtail and some 250 micron fibre. Remove the pigtail from its plastic bag, open the cleave tool ready to receive the fibre, making sure the cleave wheel carriage is positioned to the front. Turn the fusion splicer on. Then, using the menu keys and the cursor buttons, we select the fibre program we require. Select program. Fibre type, in this instance single mode. And then exit to the main screen. We now take a splice protector and place it on the pigtail. This needs to be done prior to any buffer stripping, cleaning or cleaving to ensure we don't damage the fibre after the process. Taking the buffer strippers, remove the 900 micron buffer from the pigtail and then remove the 250 micron so that we are left with the 125 cladding. We now need to clean the fibre to remove any dirt and grease residues that may be on the end of the fibre. Put some fluid onto the lint-free wipe and pinching the fibre between our fingers we clean until we hear a squeak. Place the fibre in the cleave tool, close the fibre holder to secure the fibre in place, close the clamp which holds the fibre across the cleave wheel, push the cleave wheel carriage to the rear slowly and steadily to produce a good cleave. Locate the cut sprig of fibre and place in the sin bin to keep the working environment safe. Open the fibre holder and remove the fibre. Open the windshield open the fibre clamps and place the fibre slightly to one side of the electrodes. Shut the clamp to hold the fibre in place, close the windshield. We now need to reset the cleave tool and repeat the process with the 250 micron fibre. Once the fibre has been cleaved it is very delicate so great care should be taken to ensure the end is not stubbed at any point whilst loading it into the splice machine. The trick to getting a good splice is having a very good cleave angle. Once both fibres are loaded in the splicer, shut the windshield and ensure that the fibres aren't restricted in any way. Press the green start button. The splicer will now bring the fibres together, looking at both X and Y axis. It will align the cores and then fuse them together. Once the splice has been complete, an estimated loss is displayed on the screen. 
Lift the windshield and a tension test will be carried out to check the strength of the splice. Open the heat oven and move the splice protector close to the clamps. Lift the fibre clamps and carefully remove the fibre. Place the splice protector so the exposed area of fibre is in the middle. Place in the oven, closing the lid last which applies tension to the fibre. Press the yellow heat button. Whilst the splice protector is shrinking we can repeat the splicing process. The red light goes out after about 50 seconds and the process is complete. Remove the fibre from the oven. Checking the integrity of the splice protector then place on the tray at the rear of the splicer to cool down. The process is now complete.